Doug Dubach. We're here doing some riding techniques and today we're going to talk about double jumps and really primarily how to work up to one and eventually conquer it. It's something that not a lot of people like to think about, deal with, you know, uh, a lot of guys are just better at it. They have got kind of this innate sense of how far to jump and whatnot, but we're really here to, to help you uh, with some technique and how to get there. Um, one of the first things that I like to tell everyone is to be you know, warmed up. Go ride some laps and get ready and, and used to your bike and feeling comfortable with the amount of traction there is that day and what your bike's behaving like. Just everything so you really you know, get a sense of uh, what's going on as you're approaching the jump. The basic steps to lead up to it is you know, find the best line. You, you, you all obviously don't want to find something with a kicker or a little hole or whatever, so find the smoothest line off that jump may not be the, the fastest race line out of the corner what you're getting lined up, but um, find a good run up to it. Try not to have any other distractions and then just kind of pace yourself. Try and jump part way across. If it's too peak of a jump to really, you know, start jumping here, here, and here, then you're, you're really gonna need to monitor somebody's speed that's gonna help pull you over that jump. So what I mean by that is, you know, do your jumps part way across, get a good feeling, and find that other table or whatever so you've got a good sense of how far it is and that, that jumping angle. And then find you know, a friend if he'll do it with you or for you or a guy that's similar to your speed and ability. And if he's doing it, that's, that's the guy you want to follow behind. So it, it helps in a couple ways. It helps you to get the speed and it helps you to see where he's going. Jumping technique, you know, it's it's that neutral position on the bike. You know, you always want to be wherever you're riding, you know, whether corner, straightaways, whatever, you always want to be kind of head in line with the front forks. As if those forks came up, you want to rest your head. That's that's the neutral position. As you're going up to a jump, you know, and I'll get a little bit elementary here, but as you're going up to a jump, you know, you've got to let that bike come up you know your, your body is always in a fairly neutral vertical position so as that bike is climbing the face of that jump you may not even realize this but you know you're letting the bike come up towards you and then as you go off the jump highway in the air you're you're back to that that kind of neutral position and then you know the landing and it's, as it's going down, you, know, you want to try and match that with the bike. So you're going to let the bike actually, um, <clears throat> you know, come away from you a little bit. So your arms will be a little bit extended. You know, a lot of people ask, well, how do I get, you know, that bike angle or that, that trajectory right? Well, it's all a matter of your throttle. If you've ever, you know, jumped front end high, that's by accelerating too long off of the takeoff. As that front end's leaving, if you're still accelerating too much, you're gonna jump front end high. The opposite of that, and we've all probably experienced it, I know I have, is if a bike runs out of gas or quits or something, find yourself jumping front end low a lot. Don't change your body position. You just wanna, you know, leave the throttle on a little bit longer off that jump. Another little trick that I like to tell people is be in the right gear. You don't want to be revving it so much that you're in kind of a peakier part of the power band. You want to get it down to where it's in a good level of like the torque curve of your power so that throttle position going off doesn't become so critical. You know, good neutral position. Practice jumping on tabletops and things like that beforehand. And then if you want to work up to that one double that your buddy's jumping and you're not, try and work up to it by going a little bit further each time and then follow your friend off. Get him to help you and you'll be surprised how much easier that makes it when you see somebody do it. And then you want to assess what's beyond that jump as well because if it's a nice long falling away ramp forever ever, then you clearly want to over jump it uh, you want to, if there's some error, I want to error on the long side rather than the short side and coming up short. Um, <clears throat> if there's a corner right after it or some other obstacle, and you want to kind of change your strategy. You may want to give yourself a little more time, another week, a month, whatever, before you tackle a jump 
that you've really got to time real well. So knowing how to come short on a jump is very important. And then, you know, building up to it step by step, finding a friend to help you over. So those are just some of the key things. I hope we've helped you today to kind of understand what you're trying to do while you're jumping. Uh, go out there and be safe and just tackle what you're able to do.